Let's consider a robot navigating in an environment to pick up an item and deliver it to a specific location. This is a classic problem in AI. Now let's represent the planning problem. As we have discussed previously, AI planning problem is defined by three main elements, initial state, goal state, and the set of actions available. Hello everyone. Welcome to Being Passionate Learner. I hope you all are doing well. I wish you a very happy new year. Today we are diving into one of the most important aspects of artificial intelligence that is planning. Have you ever thought about how robots decide their next move or how autonomous cars plan their routes? If yes, then you are at the right place. Stick around. And by the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how planning works in AI. These are the contents of video. We will start with what is planning in AI. Then we will discuss planning problem representation, search space, search techniques. One example of planning problem in which we are going to discuss robot navigation. After that, we will discuss types of planning. What is difference between planning and scheduling? We will discuss some popular algorithms and techniques used in planning. Then we will discuss applications of AI planning. And lastly, we will discuss challenges in AI planning. So let's get started with what is planning in AI. Planning is a process of formulating a sequence of actions to achieve specific goals or objectives. It is a fundamental aspect of intelligent behavior and it enables AI systems to act intelligently in dynamic and uncertain environments. It bridges the gap between raw computation and intelligent decision making. It develops plans that are optimal, efficient and adaptable to changes. Whether it's a robot finding its way through a maze or a system scheduling task or an AI player in the game, planning plays a crucial role in ensuring the system achieve its objectives efficiently. Problem representation. A planning problem in AI is defined by three main elements, the initial state, the goal state, and the set of actions available. Initial state. Initial state is the starting configuration of work. Goal state is the desired outcome or objective. Actions or operators are the possible transitions between states often defined with preconditions and effects. Preconditions are the conditions that must be true for the action to be executed and the effects are the changes in the world state caused by the action. State space. State space is the set of all possible states in the system can be in and it is determined by applying actions to initial states. Planning involves searching in this search space for a path to the goal. Now let's discuss search techniques. There are several approaches to search for a solution. Forward search, backward search and heuristic search. Forward search starts from the initial state and apply actions to move towards the goal and it is also called as progression. Backward search, it starts from the goal state and work backward to determine the actions required to reach the goal. It is also called as regression. Heuristic search, heuristic search uses heuristics to guide the search process, improving efficiency. For example, a star algorithm, it uses smart guesses to speed up the process. Let's take an example of robot navigation. Let's consider a robot navigating in an environment to pick up an item and deliver it to a specific location. This is a classic problem in AI. Now let's represent the planning problem. As we have discussed previously, AI planning problem is defined by three main elements, initial state, goal state, and the set of actions available. Initial state, the robot start at position 0, 0. The item is located at position 2, 3. The delivery point is at 5, 5. Goal state, the robot delivers the item to the delivery point. Actions or operators, move up, decreases the robot's Y coordinate by 1. Move down, increases the robot's Y coordinate by 1. Move left, decreases the robot's X coordinate by 1. Move right, 
increases the robot's x coordinate by 1. Pick up, picks up the item at the current location, and lastly, drop off, drop off the items at the destination. State space. The state space is a grid representing all possible positions of the robot and the items. Each state is a combination of the robot's position and whether the robot has picked up the item or not. Now let's discuss planning process. Initial state, robot is at 00, zero the item is at 23 and the item not picked up. Actions taken. So to reach to goal, a robot will take following actions. Move right to 01, move right to 02, move right to 03, move down to 13, move down to 23 and pick up the item, move down to 33, move down to 43, move down to 53, move right to 54, move right to 55 and drop off the item. Goal is achieved. The robot successfully delivers the item. Let's now discuss types of planning. AI planning is categorized based on certainty, the nature of environment, temporal constraints, and complexity. These are some types of planning. Classical planning, hierarchical task network planning, temporal planning, probabilistic planning, motion planning, multi-agent planning, reactive planning and learning based planning now let's explore each type in detail classical planning classical planning assumes a deterministic fully observable environment it focuses on finding a sequence of actions to transition from the initial state to goal state strips and planning graphs are the examples of classical planning strips stands for stanford research institute problem solver Classical planning is used in robotics, logistics, and simple AI games. Hierarchical task network planning. It breaks the planning problem into hierarchical tasks. It focuses on high-level tasks and decomposes them into subtasks. Examples are planning for complex systems or multi-agent environments. Its applications are enterprise workflows and military simulations. Let's discuss temporal planning. Temporal planning deals with the actions that have durations. It considers timing, constraints, and deadlines. Scheduling systems are examples of temporal planning. It has applications like project management and manufacturing processes. Probabilistic planning. Probabilistic planning assumes uncertainty in the environment or actions. In this, plans are generated to maximize the probability of success. Examples are Marco decision processes MDPs and partially observable MDPs, which are also known as POMDPs. Applications are robotics in dynamic environments, healthcare systems. Motion planning. Motion planning focuses on navigating a physical environment. It deals with collision avoidance and pathfinding. Examples are RRT, which is rapid exploring random trees, and A star algorithm. Motion planning is used in robotics, autonomous drones, and self-driving cars. Multi-agent planning. Multi-agent planning involves multiple agents collaborating or competing to achieve their goals. In multi-agent planning, plans must account for the actions of other agents. Examples of multi-agent planning are distributed planning algorithms. Multi-agent planning used in multiplayer games and distributed AI systems. Reactive planning. Reactive planning focuses on immediate reactions to changes in the environment. It does not plan far ahead but adapts quickly. Examples of reactive planning are rule based systems. Reactive planning can be used in dynamic environments like disaster response. Next, we are going to discuss learning based planning. Learning based planning uses machine learning to improve planning strategies, it can adapt from past experiences. Reinforcement learning is an example of learning-based planning. Applications of learning-based planning are games and adaptive systems. Now let's discuss differences between planning and scheduling. We will be comparing planning and scheduling on five different aspects, goal, focus, output, tools, and applications.
planning to decide what actions to take whereas scheduling allocate time and resources planning focuses on sequence of actions and the scheduling focuses on timing and resource allocation output of planning is action sequence and output of scheduling is task schedule planning uses search algorithms and pddl and the scheduling uses csp and optimization techniques planning is used in robotics games and navigation scheduling is used in manufacturing project planning etc now let's discuss popular algorithms and techniques some of the most widely used techniques in ai planning include strips planning graphs and pddl strips stands for stanford research institute problem solver it is a framework for defining planning problems planning graphs are a compact representation of planning problems used in algorithms like graph plan pddl stands for planning domain definition language it is a formal language for expressing planning problems applications ai planning is everywhere from robots navigating complex spaces to autonomous cars deciding the best route it's also crucial in logistic healthcare video games and even space exploration so let's discuss some of the applications of ai planning first is robotics in robotics it is used for path finding task planning and coordination in autonomous vehicle it is used for route planning and obstacle avoidance in ai games it is used in strategy formulation and decision making in healthcare it is used for optimizing treatment plans in logistic and supply chain it is used for efficient resource allocation and delivery scheduling and in space exploration it is used for automated planning for satellite operations or rover missions now let's discuss challenges planning is not without challenges in planning scalability is a big issue as problem grows in size dealing with uncertainty adapting to dynamic environments and coordinating among multiple agents are some of the toughest hurdles in planning so with this we have reached to end of this video in this video we have discussed planning in ai if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more contents if you have any questions or suggestions please drop them in the comments below thank you for watching see you next time till then being passionate learner keep learning